So my name's Robert Maddox, and I'm with an organization called Sterling Planet, uh, based in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, Sterling Planet is the largest market maker of renewable energy certificates and carbon offsets in the United States. Uh, we work with large organizations like Intel and Microsoft uh, to help them mitigate their carbon footprint by supporting renewable energy and uh, purchasing carbon offsets. We all have carbon footprints and while we need to go and reduce our own carbon footprint and accept responsibility for that, we can't eliminate our carbon footprint. It is not possible to live uh, in the United States or in Canada or in Western Europe without producing carbon. But you can mitigate that and what you can do is you can help to fund activities that would offset your carbon footprint. And simply what a carbon offset is, is that you're helping to provide funds to some other activity that reduces carbon in our atmosphere. Both of them are actually the number one Intel and Microsoft number two purchasers of renewable energy in the United States. And they are supporting um, billions of kilowatt hours of wind energy um, and other renewable resources throughout the United States. They're doing it as part of their environmental uh, citizen stewardship um, efforts, really. And they really view it as important for um, the next generation and really as even a recruitment tool. They want the best and brightest to come work for them. And many of the best and brightest now want more than a paycheck. They want a company and an organization that actually represents their values. And this is one of the many ways that they demonstrate their corporate leadership. We're here at uh, PowerShift to really look for some of the best and brightest and most passionate people that we can find to come help our small company grow. We're only 25 employees, but uh, we have some internships available as well as uh, some uh, opening positions. And we have found that passion, there, there is no substitute for passion. You can't train someone to be passionate. They're either passionate or they're not. We can work with anybody else with what we do and show them how to do that. But if you don't have that passion, it's not there. And boy, you walk into this place and there are 10,000 passionate individuals. It's exciting to be here. The renewable energy market, which is good news in the United States, is, is growing and continues to grow. The costs continue to come down. Um, and we think that's really exciting. Uh, we think the uh, next opportunities to present themselves may be um, along the lines of people being able to take the next step and potentially through crowdsourcing have some ownership um, in the projects. Um, we're also looking to say, of course, the cleanest energy of all and the cheapest energy of all is the energy you don't use. And we're adding some ability f to work with our clients to do building automation and measurement and monitoring. Um, of systems so you can see how can I be more efficient to begin with so we can actually want to sell them less carbon offsets because they're using energy more efficiently. Well I have to be honest right up front when you support renewable energy you do agree initially to pay more on your power bill so the price is more but the cost is less because if you take a full accounting of the cost of power generation in the United States today with about half of it from coal and some of it from uh, uh, places when we burn gasoline that's coming from unstable resources, that cost is huge. When someone supports renewable energy, they're actually supporting the lowest cost form of energy because it doesn't cause the environmental impact and the social impact that conventional fossil fuel has. And I think leading organizations are understanding that and they're not mixing up cost and price. Um, yes, the price I pay is a hair more, but the cost is a lot less. And what it does to really build brand value to major corporations is really um, at, at one of the heart of the, uh, of the issue. And many of these corporations, they understand this. They understand that it's important for them. If they want to appeal to people here at PowerShift who ask the tough questions, who do the deep dives, you know, where's my money going? What's it supporting? These leading companies are understanding that, and that's one of the main reasons that they're, they're supporting renewable energy. Uh, there's a study out now that there's just about as many people working in the wind industry as the coal industry.
there are different types of jobs and you obviously need to work with people in the coal industry to help them transition into a different industry. Maybe they couldn't actually uh, uh, be a, uh, go back to school if somebody who's 50 years old, go back to school to become a, a technician for a wind turbine, but maybe they can help us with energy efficiency. So there's an awful lot of economic opportunity here to be had. And in fact, with energy efficiency, which we're excited about too, that's a job that can't be outsourced. It is not possible to take your building and send it to China and get it energy retrofitted and bring it back. It has to be done here. It has to be done here with skilled labor. And every building is a one-off. So it's really challenging to do, but it's really fun. And we like to unlock that in, in people and have them do that. So I think that there's lots and lots of opportunities. It's going to be a different job. It won't be the same job, but it'll be a different job. Earlier this year, there was this solar airplane that flew from LA to New York. And the technology deployed on that airplane, if it were deployed worldwide, would reduce our energy use in half. Now, this technology has been deployed. It's now becoming state of the shelf. And you can take this technology now, and our challenge will be is to make it more cost efficient and deploy it wi uh, widely. And I think that that's going to happen. Um, the folks here at PowerShift are really demanding it happen. And many of them are going to innovate ways to figure out how to make it happen. And that's really, really exciting. There's several benefits. I mean, obviously, it's, it's distinguishing, you know, if you're a company, it's distinguishing your brand. But it's really about future survival. You've got to understand that I use this analogy of light bulbs. An incandescent light bulb is your grandfather's light bulb. A fluorescent light bulb is your father's light bulb. And an LED light bulb is your light bulb for young people. And that's really where we're going. It's going to be, you have to change. This isn't a, I kind of want to, or maybe I should, or I'll put it off. No, the companies that are doing this and are adopting this, and the people that are doing it, and their households are doing it, are understanding this is the future, and they're getting there first, and they're reaping all the benefits, um, whether they be financial or otherwise, by doing that.